team is digging deeper into some new reporting from our partners at the South Bend Tribune. It has to do with a disgruntled South Bend assistant principal who says he was demoted a week before school started without explanation. It left him and many families confused. Our Joshua Short joins us now live with that brand new reporting. He's live at Edison Middle School where the drama has been unfolding over the past several weeks. Josh, break this down for us. Hey there, Lauren. You know what, Mr. Pedraza, who is technically still in his position as vice principal here at Edison behind me, well, right now, he is on administrative leave. I want to underscore he's on paid administrative leave by the corporation after an HR report filed last month in August. But Pedraza tells me the drama really started way before that. Tonight, confusion in the corporation, specifically here at Edison Middle School in South Bend, where Jesus Pedraza is still technically an employee. Right now, according to HR, I am an assistant principal. That's Pedraza, who used to be principal at McKinley Elementary School for eight years and helped establish that school's dual language immersion program, or DLI, primarily meant to help students become proficient in both their first and second languages. This year, that school merged with Edison to form a K through 8 school. And with that came many families who followed Mr. Pedraza, who he says all benefited from the DLI program. So what me and the families and everyone from McKinley and Edison were told was that there would be two principals, that I would be principal for K-5 and that Mr. Dillon would be principal for 6 to 8. That did not happen, and Pedraza says he found out a week before classes started. McKinley families kind of feel blindsided. They kind of came with him under the impression that he would still be a principal. Ray Lee Deaton is the journalist who broke the story in the South Bend Tribune and tells me this decision is what Pedraza says ultimately led to an HR complaint resulting in school officials putting him on paid administrative leave. This report that the Tribune has obtained is the result of an HR complaint against Pedraza from Sean Dillon, the current and only uh, uh, principal at Edison. In the complaint filed in August, it details how Dillon felt threatened and said Pedraza was engaging in workplace intimidation, which Pedraza denies. This came after Pedraza had a meeting with Dillon about the frustration to no longer have two principals at the school. HR recommended Pedraza be reassigned to oversee the coordination of DLI programs throughout the district, which Pedraza doesn't want. So for those for those in the community saying you're hiding from this or you're not responding, why are you not responding? It's, it's illegal for us to, um, to divulge information uh, about someone's specific HR um, situation. Uh, that would be unfair to Mr. Pedraza and unfair to anyone involved in the process. South Bend Schools Deputy Superintendent Sarita Stevens wouldn't comment on the specifics of the situation, citing personnel matter. We are very focused on all of our students and we're, in fo we're focused on inclusion uh, because we're, we're unique in having a DLI program. But I just simply want to go back to doing what I love to do, which is leading this um, dual language immersion program as a principal here and I think that there's no there was no issues with it being two principals I mean like we were told I think it would be fine and I think that me and Mr. Dillon can work well together and so Joshua I want to ask you if you can hear me what comes next and so there's a lot that comes next, actually, Lauren. According to our partner at the South Bend Tribune, the board must now approve this HR report. After that, he can make his case, being Mr. Pedraza. He can say, look, I want to stay here, or whatever the case may be, to the board himself. He plans to do that at the next board meeting. That is set for the end of this month on September 30th. It is after that the board will vote on whether or not he'll be reassigned. We'll keep you posted on how that develops. Keep in mind, there's a lot more to the story, so many layers to it. Um, our reporting partners being the first to break this this morning. You can find more on their website as well. Lauren, back to you. We know a lot of parents have been wondering about this one. So Joshua Short, we appreciate you breaking that all down for us. Live from South Bend. Stay